So what has been going on this week? All right. Well, I have a new low, actually. You you probably won't understand this, but anybody who's short might. Okay. This is the first time you've just been like proclaimed short and not under tall. I, well, I'd like to go back to under tall. Okay. I think that's it. I think that's better. Okay. Um, okay. I went to the doctor for my annual physical. I'm trying to stay very on top of my health. Very inspired by you. Good, Thank you. Good. Um, and so they, you know, it's the typical thing where it's like blood pressure, height, weight. And I, you know how I feel about the weight piece. Well, the doctor scales are wrong. Exactly. I think we all know that. We do. And so they've never been right. No one's has ever been right. So I refuse to get on a scale. From sure. Me. I think that's healthy. I do too. I weigh myself at home. It's my own decision. It's my weight, not yours. It, exactly. Yes. I, I will it, tell you. I don't need it announced to the entire office. Right. So I tell them that I don't want to get on the scale. Right. Decline I say, the scale. I decline the scale and I say, this is this is how much I weigh. I weighed myself this morning. I tell the truth. Okay. But I just need to make that clear. Okay. I have hit a new low. Okay. Literally and figuratively. Uh-oh. I got on the height whatever. What What is uh, that called? I don't know. Ruler? No, it's like on the on the wall uh, where they height, measure. A height measure? Yeah, apparently. And I need to now go back to like childhood where you have a thing on your door where you every time you grow, you like notch it up and you like draw a line. Did you not grow? Clea, I am like fully shrinking. You shrank. You I, shrank. Yes. Oh, no. And she's like, it's, it's pretty normal at your age. <gasps> I was like. She gave you an at your age? Yes. Not Ooh. only an at my age, but she's like, yeah, you, you did. Oh, man. So Whoa. I am walking around. Actively shrinking. Yeah, and thinking that I'm hel- a healthy 5'1". You're getting smaller as we speak. Yes! Like, I might be a th- okay, but let's, well, hold on. under the chair, uh, the chair soon. You've never been a healthy 5'1". I have. No, you are... I was 5'1 and a half. I think no. when I met you. Yes, I was. Absolutely. But Stella is five feet, and she's, like, overcoming you. I was 5'1 and a half when we met. There is not a chance you were over 5'1". Not a chance. I've never even heard that. Yeah, that's the truth. It was okay. five, one and a half for a very long time. No, I don't think so. Maybe in high school. But like, no, you have not. You have always been a shred under five, one. I, well, I'm more than a shred. Wow. I know. So you might not have me for lunch longer. <laughs> <laughs> I think you'll stick around. I just. Oh, no. I don't know. I have everything wrong with me, but that's just not one. I, that's not one ailment. I know. So now I'm going to go to the doctor's office and be like, don't, here are the things you can't do. Okay. So. Yeah. <laughs> It's really nice to see people who work really hard and and make it. Look at you guys. I mean, well, that's the thing. People don't understand. <laughs> there are a lot of things I think that people, you know, look at an Instagram account or right and just like misconceptions. I mean, like Joanna and I have spent a lot of time organizing tampons. Like we are yeah. literally, <laughs> you know what I mean? More than any other person, I'm pretty sure. Like we, like <laughs> there's a lot that we have done like and toothpicks and toothpicks <laughs> and like everything like yes. head down hands yes. in everything under sinks yes. in yes. attics basements cellars you know you name it and Bugs. yeah yep. I just had a flash of being in your closet and a bead coming <laughs> off of a bag and I freaked out I don't even think I remember this you had a panic attack yeah I was like I have to find Rachel right now I was like going climbing through your house looking for you because I was like I have to tell her a bead, a bead fell off I don't know I don't know what era this is from it's like scary. Audrey Hepburn's like vintage something and I'm like a bead <laughs> fell off of a clutch Rachel was like oh it's it's totally fine Not well you just never know in Rachel's closet it's like it, this could be the prototype like it could be like the like <laughs> the Jane one. Birkin's bag totally you gave me such good fashion advice when skinny jeans, everyone said they're done. Yes, I remember those. I oh my God, think those about are this. so cute. I said, Rachel, I'm really stressed. I don't look good in other types of pants. I'm very short and I can't well wear 12 inch heels like you can. So Rachel said, you can still wear skinny jeans. You have to do what you feel comfortable with. Dress for yourself. That's right. And I was so freed by that advice. There was a time where it was only skinny jeans mm-hmm. and only like, low slung jeans. And they were like, forget the high waist. And then they were like, it's only acid wash jeans, no dark wash jeans. And I literally was like, no, is everyone okay? (laughs) None of those things work on me. I'm a firm believer in getting outside your comfort zone and, and, and tip the box a little, Mm -hmm. right. But you also have to live your everyday life in what is you, right? Because otherwise you go out feeling like somebody else. And even worse than that, you're insecure all day. Totally. Right. Right. And that is that is like absolutely cannibalizing the whole purpose of a trend. Yes. I love you so much. And you have been such an incredible support system for me throughout my <laughs> diagnosis and treatment. I mean, when I tell you, I get texts from Rachel all the time. Just checking yeah. in. I don't even think people understand the level of love I've received. And the level of love I've received from you is so 
wonderful and you know how much you mean to me. And you're um, amazing. Listen, you got you, you got to find that line of not driving you crazy. Oh, I'm good at that. I, I haven't figured out that line. I just fully drive her crazy. But you don't have to because that's your role. You have to drive her absolutely insane. I do. At I'm all really times. good at my role. I love it. I've you're my favorite married it. couple. <laughs> we are. We are. Joanna did tell me at my first diagnosis she was going to sit on me and hatch me like a chicken and an egg. So she was like, I'm never, I'm just going to sit on you for all of treatment. Gosh, all right. Well, we love best. you, Rachel. Rachel, we'll see you Love you guys. All right. Mwah. Mwah.